What's good, y'all? It's your boy KCB. So with everyone waiting for the anticipated Kanye West Donda album to drop, you know, I've thought, let's go ahead, let's make a beat. Let's go make a crazy beat for Kanye while we wait. But, you know, in the meantime, I said we all saw the listening party and, you know, I got some exclusive footage for you guys. So let's go ahead and check that out first. What's good, y'all? It's the boy KCB. We're back at it. We got another one today. So yeah, man, we're doing this Kanye B. This Kanye type B, kind of like, you know, don't the beat, be? I guess you could say. Um, I mean, since he ain't dropping it, we're gonna go ahead and, you know, make a beat for it. So, um, there's a few ways you could do a beat like this. I mean, beats are just gonna be really creative, a lot different from some of the other stuff we made. Um, one way is you can find some really cool samples, some old samples. You can chop them up, you can pitch them up or down, you can kind of, you know, arrange them a little bit differently, use that, use some different, I would find like some interesting effects and sounds to kind of throw along with them. Um, drums, you know, I would, you can use some trap drums, but I would like to use some kind of more old school style drums, um, real sounding drums, things like that. Um, so that's kind of one way you can do it. You can arrange it a little differently, but the other way is kind of making everything. I wanted to make pretty much all the melodies, everything for this beat, um, do a little differently. Use like some live instruments or like, you know, keys, strings, things like that. Um, nice thick bass, all of that. But one thing I wanted to do, which I, I think this is probably like the first actual beat I've used one the whole time is, um, I wanted to actually use like a perk loop kind of throughout it to kind of give it an interesting vibe. And um, so I found this perk loop here. And so I went ahead and wanted to use this. And so this beat, 140 BPM, uh, D sharp minor on this one. But I found this perk loop and I was like, this would be really interesting to kind of use in with the beat, kind of give it a different feel and then kind of play around with it. So we got this. So yeah, so that's kind of interesting. So I want to go ahead and use that in a major part of the beat here. And then I wanted to, of course, we're going to add a bunch of stuff to it. So one of the first things I did was I wanted to go ahead and make some kind of like a progression with our keys here. So we got D sharp minor going D, you know, going D sharp to G sharp to F sharp to F, um, you know, a little bit of like a progression there. Turn it into chords, of course. And then from there, um, I went ahead and just kind of chopped one little section there, give it a little bit more bounce. And then it, like we do in a lot of my other beats, I kind of arrange the chords a little different. So not every chord is the same. Um, so we kind of start out with that. And so with that chord here, we just have this. So that's really the base for this melody there. We're gonna do a bunch of stuff and add things to it. Um, and so from there, I pretty much just wanna go ahead and start kind of layering different uh, sounds with this melody. And so next one I picked was a choir, really like this, it's a one shot with a thick choir. So we just kind of followed those same notes in that progression, so we got. We got there, that there. So yeah, we're gonna kind of layer a bunch of different melodies to kind of, um, we're gonna add some takeaway when we make the beat, we're gonna structure it different where sometimes you hear some, sometimes you don't. Um, I wanted to have kind of like a string. And so this is a string shot, but it has this like night, this called nighttime crickets. It has like a cricket sound kind of, and like 
with a lot of these like Kanye beats, any little interesting weird sounds in it is just going to add to the creativity of the beat. And that's what we want. That's what I was saying before. You can find some weird sounds, you know, pitch stuff up, down, chop it up, you know, do a bunch of different effects to it to just give it something that you wouldn't hear in a lot of other beats. Um, so we got this. So yeah, we're adding that to it. Um, and then from there, I went ahead, I got another pad here. Oh, and actually first, so what I did with this one was I went ahead and added the effect, um, the Fruity Love Filter. So that, you, there's tons of different effects in there. It's a free plugin. Um, there's lots of different fun stuff. I just played around with it and this is something I like. So this is it without. But with this Kanye B, we gotta do some fun, creative stuff here. So we went ahead, added it, so it sounds like this. So we got that going on with it. Um, besides that, what else we gonna do here? I added some stuff and then I took some things away too, just because I wanted to kind of play around. I played around with a bunch of different sounds, but I have a lot going on in this beat. And so you just sometimes you couldn't hear some of the sounds as well. And so I didn't really want that. Um, and then one other thing I did was, so I took, uh, yeah, so I took the piano part. And then I also used the, I used the Fruity Love filter on this one too. But I wanted to kind of chop it, like phase it a little bit. Um, added some different, some delay to it, a little ping pong delay on it. Um, so what we did was we went ahead and took that same piano part and I wanted to have a part in this beat where there's kind of like some empty space and then it goes back into like, you know, part of the full beat. And so for this one here, we took that, the piano, so we got the same thing, but we got that love filter on again. So it sounds like this. <laughs> So that's going to really add to the beat because we're going to kind of transition with some of that. So we got that. The other thing I really wanted was just a nice bass line, like a little crazy though. I didn't want it like the same progression because we got a lot of that going on. So I want to go ahead. I picked a lot of notes, obviously, in that same scale there. Um, so this bass, we're going to have one part where it's playing and then where the piano, where everything kind of cuts out. And we have that one piano sound going um, this is going to cut back into the part of the beat again, and it's going to get a little crazier. So uh, I want to pick a nice bass. So having a real nice bass for these type of beats is always great. So I want a little crazy with this pattern, but I want something a little different to really bring it out um, and have you notice it. So we got this. So that's just epic bass sound right there. And so that's gonna it's gonna build up a bit, play this bass, and it's gonna cut off with the piano, and then it'll come right back in again before the full beat. That's really gonna add to um, you know our beat there. Once again, we want that creativity, we want you know different elements going on the beat. And so besides that, so I got pretty regular kick. The snare I picked though is kind of like an older, sounds like an older kind of snare, like Kind of like an old school snare so we want some drums that are a little bit different i did pick this one hat though that is kind of like a trap hat but because i have a part where i wanted to kind of build up and then go into like a harder part of the beat so we just got you know pretty pretty common clap uh not clap but hat there and then the other thing i wanted to come in with the real big 808 going a little bit crazy kind of like the bass and so we're going to transition right into the full beat with this and it's going to play a bit then cut off then go back so we're going to do a lot of transitions with this but i want this 808 to go crazy when it comes in so we got We got some notes changing there and I kind of mixed up like the last two here, kind of lowered, you know, made them a little bit lower. And this 808 pattern, this is just a different pattern. I was just kind of feeling this beat, throwing this out, change all the notes around. This is another one like the bass line. I wanted to really come in, build up with the beat, 
Um, and yeah, just be something that's real noticeable. And who doesn't love, you know, base and 808? So we got that. So we got a lot of elements in this beat. And so like I was talking about, a big thing is we're going to want to go ahead and structure this different from our other beats. So what I did was I have first have the perks playing almost the whole way through, except where this, there's this section where I want like nothing going on. Um, so perks playing, we got our keys playing, we got that string playing, we got the pad playing, and then just the snare, then it goes into the kick comes in, and then we have the, um, the choir come in, and then in the next section there, we have the string out, choir still in, the bass starts coming in, builds up, builds up a little bit, then it cuts off, cuts off to nothing, but um, that piano we made with the effect, uh, then we got the string with the crickets and the uh, choir again. So it's going to do that. It's going to be silent for a bit. Then we got the very end of that bass. It's going to kind of set it off back into the full beat with our hats too. It's just going to add great transition. And then we got the 808s with it. Got that for 16 bars. And then it's going to have a reverse effect into kind of like the first part over here. Except now we have the hats back in it. I had the hats here at first, but I really wanted to felt like it kind of build up the track a little more when they come in a little later. Um, so I feel like that was a really good choice with that. So yeah, man, go ahead, play around with these beats to where structure them different, do something different. Cause that's what Kanye would do. He would make something that not everybody's doing. And so I want to structure this different from some of the other beats we made. So we got that. And in the very end, kind of the same thing, 808's gone and reverses into a part where um, we have the kind of that one piano with the effect playing again, just the kick and the snare, and then just the snare and the perks, and then the uh, choir, the string, and the regular keys. So lots of transition, lots of things going on in this beat. So this is really a creative beat that you can, you can get crazy with, you know. So, so we got all those things. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and play this, man. I mean, it's, you know, one thing to just talk about everything we did, but another to play it. So you guys are really going to hear all the transitions and everything in this beat. So this is that Kanye Donda type beat, man. Let's get it.
see how certain elements play into that, like that bass before the full beat comes in again. Kyle, we got parts where beat. we have some of our instruments playing and then cutting off and coming back on. Um, you know, so just everything kind of adds to that creativity of a beat like this. And so yeah, so that's how we would make a beat for Kanye on Donda there. Um, hopefully we all, you know, actually get it here soon. <laughs> that's, you know, remains to be seen, but you know, so man, yeah, that's how we do it. So hope y'all like the video. Hope y'all, you know, hit that sub, like, comment. Y'all know what's going on. So keep it up. So we're going to keep going, man. More videos on the way. So until next time, y'all.